What's going on guys, it's Luke from the Live Cast, and you are joining me on another TLC with TLC and in the first episode I never really knew what the name of or like the title of the series and like video genre was going to be so after some consideration after making the first video I thought TLC with TLC and from there on I've just always wanted to make content around that so basically for someone like for anyone that doesn't know me welcome to the live cast of course but I am very for self-improvement, um, self-development, personal finance, that kind of thing, where it's all about putting yourself in the best situation and, you know, growing as a human. So from this, like, passion and dreams to also be free in, like, terms of life and have the freedom to do what I want when I want through, let's say, having financial freedom, which is, like, one of my biggest goals, I will just been wanting to make content around it and make people more aware now for this channel it's something that we want to make a dynamic between the podcast the live cast the podcast whatever you want to call it that is purely just anything just whatever we think about when we make these videos like the podcast for example we just talk about life and that's why we call it a live cast because life is so random and life has so many ups and downs and swings and roundabouts and over time it can be a bit daunting but it can get tough at times that's why we created the podcast because one it's an escape for us so we can make content around the things that we are passionate about but two it's for the people out there just like yourself watching this video right now who may need a sort of escape or comfort through video or through someone talking whilst they're at work or whilst at uni writing essays or whatever because for me myself, I'm someone who kind of struggles and falls into this boat as well. When, whenever I'm at work, I also just feel like, why am I here? I'm just doing like this shit job, whatever, just to get by. And you know, I'm only 18, but I know like the big picture is that I'm sacrificing today so that tomorrow I can bloom my future success. And now tomorrow, in my case, is in the next three to five years. And if I can get anything sorted and set up in like in before those years then <laughs> I'm gonna keep going for it so that's why we created this channel because we thought we can work on content on a daily basis and right now it is literally just me making the videos when it comes to rendering editing making sure they go up making sure there's actual content being made because that's just how it is right now and that is is what it is so today's episode I just wanted to talk about well, really just want to give a bit of like backstory but I really wanted to talk about you know why people in society these days they feel such a sense of entitlement and inclination for things that they haven't worked for or they don't actually deserve like people think that just because they see other people who are in their early 20s who may maybe just be like on Instagram and they're just influencers and stuff like that who have like a BMW or they have like a Rolex or they have a house like mainly materialistic things I don't think a house is really materialistic if you're looking at it from an investment standpoint but if you're looking at it in a way to show off wealth then fair enough but if you have the money to do it then I like if I had the money I'll do it as well so I can't really say like you're doing bad because <laughs> you're doing very well for yourself so these people like you see them all over the place whether it's on instagram or social media like twitter for example you can even be friends with these kind of people who just always talk about they want they deserve and whatever like these kind of like words but they don't put the work in these are the same people that you will see on a friday and saturday night going out drinking and going clubbing and going partying these are the same people that you see playing you know playing games after work or school for five six hours just trying to grind out when in reality if they took out of like those six hours they took about two three hours and they dedicated it to a podcast or they made a youtube video or they just made content they actually left their mark on the world for example they could just they could do something with their lives and that's something that i want to speak into existence through this youtube channel because i don't know about you but i know that this is just a long this is a very long term thing for people making content on youtube is a very long term thing it takes a very long time to become established grow an audience and 
have like your little niche or segment in the chat like in YouTube and obviously it's not like the easiest thing in the world when you know there's so many things happening all at once and people really just want to succeed and I can't blame them because just like yourself I also really want to achieve like my dreams and I want to do the things that I've always wanted to do I want to share all the experiences that I've always wanted to with my loved ones and with my family but those things those amazing times those you know lie at the end of the tunnel days will never come unless you put in the work and even if it's just simple things like you know reading a book or putting some time into um, a podcast or reading or, or like articles or writing notes or on how to buy a buy to let property things like that those are the things that are ultimately going to get you to where you want to be and this is something I'm really passionate about and I could talk about probably for a very very long time on the podcast and like the end goal is to eventually get people on the podcast talking to them with a webcam so we can get a bit of interaction and just get people that inspire me but they might be inspired by us or they want to connect with me for example through my Instagram which is also cheeky little plug in the description below which is that's my like public one where it comes to public branding and you know just personal brand and having some sort of influence and a statement out there and it's just like people things aren't gonna come to you for free there might be the lucky case where you might win the lottery ticket for example and you win a, like a hundred million pounds like if you win that fair play to you because that is that's incredible like as long as you're financially literate and you can cope and you can deal with that amount of money I, I take my hat off to you because you are set up for life and so you're like so your children's children for example just it these things trickle but for me I come from a family where you know we work in class everyone works hard we we do work hard we bust our asses off like for me I've been working in my like apprenticeship for god knows how long now about five almost six months now and i've been literally working my ass off just i've been i've been working before that to be fair actually i was working over a year and a half at mns and you can connect with me on linkedin if you want luke stoneman that can just show you a bit of uh, insight into you know me and who i am and like my professional profile and stuff like that but i'm just to get like the story kind of done I'm not born with a silver spoon, like with a silver spoon in my mouth. I'm not born to like the richest family in the world. Like no one is really. That is very uncommon, and people wish that they were born into these families. But I think that people that say that you're really doing a disservice to your family because you're kind of just disregarding all the things that you've gone through, all the things that they've done for you. You just say, "Oh, I'd rather give that up for money and material gain," and I think to me like without the struggles and the people that are around me like my family and my loved ones I wouldn't be the person who I am today now there's friends that I class as family who have pushed me or just like done so many like assistance to me just to put me in a better place whether it's mentally or physically or just like you know just trying to help you out and if you have people like that around you who want you to be a better person it's just it's just gonna make a better like statement of who they are because um, I read a quote earlier today and it was like the way someone treats you is a reflection of how interested they are or how invested they are into you as a person and for example it could be a girlfriend and they could just be invested in you they could be so interested they can love you but there can be a complete opposite scenario where there's a random person you never know and they just hate you and like that's just fair enough like <laughs> they have no reason to hate but that's that just reflects who they are as a person they're a hateful and negative person and therefore you just don't want to be surrounded by them but that's one thing you guys need to notice when you're growing up and if and this, this ties into the target like the target audience of the podcast people you know there's going to be different ages like when you're having youtube content so for the people that are younger maybe let's say between the 14 to 17 18 mark which is like puberty growing up 
finding out who you really are, finding out who your real friends are. Um, kind of forgot what point I was going on now, but it just you have to know how to treat and read people, and then eventually you need to know who you need in your life, who you're gonna cut, because. For you people that are like 16 in them Snapchat group chats and you're wasting your time just, you know, chatting about a load of rubbish, it's never going to pay off. So, for people that want to know about why people are like the way they are, you have to read. You have to watch YouTube videos, you need to know how to read people, read how they talk, read their body language, read their facial like expressions and just like you can if you can do this kind of like to me it's like daily daily like things like I can tell if someone's being or will be a dick and I can tell if someone's gonna be nice or friendly just because of the way they look or the way like they talk and the way they present themselves and what I mean by the way they look is not because someone is of a certain exterior so like this is like the most common one race gender or height or like that like random things like that i'm talking about the way one they kind of dress if someone like takes themselves seriously or two people will look at you like literally the action the act to look with your eyes people will look at you when they're going to be interested or talking to you if they hold eye contact or they make eye contact you can you can be a bit more at ease but if someone doesn't make eye contact to you and that's just for me as well, when someone doesn't make eye contact with me at work, I get my back up because it's like you're not actually showing me the respect to just pay a bit of attention. And one thing I got taught from a young age is respect goes a long way, but it has to be earned. You can't you can't just deserve respect because of your age or your title or because of who you are. Respect is earned just, just because you think like your higher position in a business in the corporate ladder you don't deserve anything you don't deserve to be better than anyone else no one in this life is better than anyone else now of course in some extremes we have people who are murderers and they're in prison whatever they don't deserve anything they deserve the worst of the worst because they are the worst of the worst people they've taken lives they've harmed lives they destroyed families like they just don't deserve to be released back in society fair enough but for the people in the corporate world which is something <laughs> i absolutely hate and i thought i thought it was going to be for me being in like the corporate world or just like being at a desk and doing all that stuff i thought, really did think that it was going to be something that i would be thriving in and i think i would thrive in it if it was something i was interested in and it was something that i actually want to do it's the field that I it's not the field it's the title and the role that I want to do but it's not the field it's not like the industry the industry is completely wrong so maybe maybe if what I was doing was a bit more hands-on going from sites to sites then maybe I'd actually be happier day to day but that's just what I'm trying to do guys I'm just trying to be happy and making this kind of content I've been recording this now for 13 and a half minutes almost 13 25 right now like this just brings me ease that I can kind of just speak my mind and just escape for 15 minutes and then edit this video and <laughs> just put it onto a Vegas track and then just put it on for you guys like hopefully there's someone watching who's actually going to you know use this video to further themselves and you know if you, <clears throat> like if you're actually going to do that please leave a comment please leave a like because I'm always on this channel I'm always looking at our views I'm always looking at who's watching our stuff who's not like I just I just want to be a small community that we can grow and then build up into something where we can have the people that watch this podcast or watch these videos be on our videos because without people things don't happen people bring value people bring money people bring things to the table and that's something I've begun to realize and learn without people without actual human beings behind everything it's never going to happen now, without further ado, I'm just going to bring this video to a close because I feel like I've covered multiple topics in the same video, but I just want to be able to keep these videos rather concise so that you can just listen, hear what I have to say, because I don't like saying this, but sometimes I feel like I have really good valuable things that I can say and I can actually give value 
like I can actually bring something to people through this very like standard basic content where it's just a YouTube video with someone talking you can't see my face but that's what we're gonna start doing we're gonna integrate webcams in the not too distant future hopefully within the next half a year because we just want to keep grinding content we just want to bring out videos so then eventually eventually we can bring out even better content and we can test how certain things are you know received by you guys but yeah make sure to leave a like leave a comment down below if you like this kind of video because there's going to be more tlc with tlc coming out soon so yeah hit the sub hit the bell because the ding dong don't bell with a bell that's so load of rubbish but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video because i feel like sometimes i can just talk and talk and spit something out that people might need to hear so yeah that's been luke from the lifecast i'll catch you guys in the next video peace